Right now, all of our countries are dealing with the health and economic impacts of the global pandemic. But as we look to rebuilding from this crisis, we must do so in a way that will build back better for all of our citizens. And that must include an ambitious plan to take strong action against climate change. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau says he's going to introduce climate legislation to increase his carbon tax by 240 percent by 2030. That would raise the cost of gasoline in the four provinces where it would directly apply, Ontario, Alberta, Saskatchewan, and Manitoba, by 38 cents per liter. It would also increase the cost of home heating fuel, like natural gas, and it would increase the cost of goods and services that use fossil fuel energy. That's almost all goods and services. So, Justin Trudeau says that because his carbon tax is revenue neutral, most people who pay it will actually end up with more money because of the rebate system. So, the Prime Minister has told us he has a tax that makes most people richer. Now, it's a little hard to believe that, and here's why. Prior to last year's election, his environment minister at the time, Catherine McKenna, repeatedly said that Justin Trudeau's carbon tax, which right now is $30 per ton of greenhouse gas emissions, would never go higher than $50 per ton of greenhouse gas emissions. The plan is not, the plan is not to increase the price point post-2022. We are doing exactly what we said we do, what we negotiated with provinces and territories in 2016. Now, after the election, Trudeau says he's going to raise it to $170 per ton of emissions. He will raise Canada's price on carbon pollution, rising by $15 a ton starting in 2023 and rising to $170 Canadian dollars per ton by 2030. So it's a broken election promise. Uh, Catherine McKenna once said that politicians know that if they say something loudly enough and they repeat it often enough, people will, her words, totally believe it. You know, I actually gave them some real advice. I said that if you actually say it louder, we've learned in the House of Commons, if you repeat it, if you say it louder, if that is your talking point, people will totally believe it. So just go it. I guess we know why. So, will Justin Trudeau's tax do what he says it will do? Well, what he says we need it for is to lower our emissions to net zero by 2050. But the legislation he's proposing doesn't have any mandatory targets. The only thing it says is the government, starting in 2035, has to report every five years on how it's doing in reaching the targets. And if it's not reaching the targets, to do something else. What else? We don't know. The other thing is that Justin Trudeau based his carbon tax on one in British Columbia that started out in 2008. It was also revenue neutral. Twelve years later, it's no longer revenue neutral. And BC's carbon emissions have increased by 10% over the past three years, and they've gone up in five of the last seven years. So we can hope that Justin Trudeau's carbon tax will do what he says it will do. But don't hold your breath. I'm Lori Goldstein of the Toronto Sun. We're always interested in hearing your views. And please follow us on Facebook and our YouTube channel.